Today we're going to do a product demo on the Relaxin test kit. So Relaxin is used to diagnose true pregnancy and can help you weed through some of the complications such as false pregnancies and other behaviors from the animal that can indicate she's pregnant when she actually isn't. It's comparable to an ultrasound diagnosis in that it can give you a true measure of pregnancy in a much simpler form than what an ultrasound would require. The relaxing test can also be performed at home. It can be performed whenever you want and is quite simple and cheap. So what exactly is relaxin? Relaxin is a hormone that's produced both by the ovaries and the placenta of a fertilized egg and only exists in a pregnant state. So post-fertilization of the egg when the egg implants into the uterine wall this is going to be when the hormone relaxin begins to be produced and detected. It can be detected by the relaxin test as early as day 25 after fertilization. So in order to catch that, you're going to need either your breeding date or your last breeding date and then count up 25 days. We recommend that the best time to use it is day 30 as lower concentrations of relaxin early on in the pregnancy can trigger false negatives you may test at day 25 and it won't show up until day 26. So what exactly is going to be needed to run the relaxin test? Well first off we're going to need serum from the pregnant dog. So in order to get that you're going to have to acquire your blood draw materials and you'll have to spin that down to serum in a centrifuge. All of that is a bit available for purchase on www.k9p4.com. So not a lot of blood is actually needed for this test. We're going to need approximately 75 microliters of serum, which 500 microliters of whole blood can easily extract 75 microliters of serum. You, can, you also may be familiar with the term CC or milliliter. You're going to need at least half of a CC, which is the equivalent of half of a milliliter. Um, as we're going to demonstrate in the video for this test, you can either use a mechanical pipetter, such as this one, or just a disposable dropper. The choice is yours. The mechanical pipette will be exact each time. And the dropper requires about three drops of serum. Both work very well. Um, we prefer to do everything with a pipetter here, but the choice is totally up to you. The disposable pipetter droppers are gonna come one with each test. So you'll be supplied on those. Don't have to buy those anywhere. So what's included in every test kit box is going to be a print of the detailed instructions. You should find everything that you need to correctly process this test in this sheet. You also have standard universal pipette tips should you be using a mechanical pipetter. You'll have 10 centrifuge tubes for which to spin the whole blood down to serum. And you'll have 10 of the foil sealed relaxing tests and inside of each test is the disposable dropper if you want to use that method. The test kit itself does not need any refrigeration. It can be stored at room temperature and the expiration date is 18 months from manufacture. So by the time you purchase it, you'll have plenty of time before the expiration date comes along. So let's actually demonstrate how to perform this test. You'll find on the test kit insert sheet, the exact procedure is item number four. So what we're going to do is first collect at least 500 microliters of blood and centrifuge that blood after clotting time. We have gone ahead and done that step already. So now we're going to open up the test from the foil packaging and place it flat on the table. So all we have to do from this point with our serum separated from the whole blood is pull some serum out with, the, with either the dropper or the mechanical pipette add it into the sample window and wait 10 minutes. So the end results of the test after 10 minutes are very, very easy to interpret. We have two identifiers here, C and T. The control line should always be full. If that line is not there, then reject that test and do another one. The T line is the test for the relaxant in the sample. If the T line is visible, either faint or full line, that indicates a positive result and means that your animal is in fact pregnant. The T line can be faint or it can be as strong as the control line. This actually does indicate how much relaxant is in the blood, but then again, 
any amount of relaxant in the blood is an indicator of a positive pregnancy. So all we need to see is that T-line is there and the C-line combined with it as well. So for each test, we're just looking for both lines to be there. The control line is not there. Just reject that test and do another one. If you like this video and want to see more from us in the future, including an upcoming automatic relaxant analyzer that takes the guesswork out of it for you, please like and subscribe. 